he also went on uh, JF's channel and he like has like a whole chart of like an actual formal logical argumentation for us. So it's pretty legit. Ah, uh, it is. Ask yourself. Yeah, it'd be great to uh, to uh, to talk to him because the guy I was talking to just bad. Uh, he's here now. The, the bad cop is here now. Yo, Isaac. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah you I can talk to him that. now. You can talk to him now. Um. So, uh, I sorry I cut you off for like like the things that you were saying or whatever, but I I don't know. I just felt like um. I wanted to cut you off before you finish so you can repeat what you already started saying and then finish what you were saying, but to Isaac himself, since, you know, he did create this uh, consistency test. Um, do you want to just go ahead and uh, go back to what you were saying, uh, Professor Blackwell? He left. Oh, he left? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Well, there's other people in here as well that were saying. He's literally right there. Wait, where? Wait, wait, what? Where is he? Yo, He's the sixth you person him? down uh, on the top of the, the chat. He's the sixth oh. person. Let me wait, see. Professor Blackwell? I literally cannot. Oh, that him. guy. Yeah. No, no he's he, gone. Like, dipped the fuck out because I said I was getting. What the fuck? He's typing in chat, though. I think the one who wanted to have a conversation was our Vespers. I think the professor wasn't interested in having a conversation. Yeah, I wanted to talk to him, and apparently my name got changed to <laughs> not no, opposed no, to that's not true. No, that's not true. He only said that he wanted neutral ground with Ask Yourself because he thinks that it wouldn't be fair otherwise. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably, sort of like, probably not like a server with uh, like the politics server. What are you guys going on about? Hey, Isaac. So, um, Professor Blackwell was in here, Isaac. And, um, I don't know who that yeah, is. had like some. Yeah, it was like some dude that was just in here. And he was talking to Adam, and Adam was running like MTT mm. on him. Um, and basically, he just was, uh, he was saying something along the lines of that it doesn't seem like this, um, the NTT is very useful so that it can be but it doesn't seem like it really is i don't know and i just wanted him to say to you because i wanted to hear you talk to him i'm not sure what useful is supposed to mean there uh hey isaac are you willing to talk to anybody right now or is, did you just come for that dude i just came because mj pinged me why do you have some like question or something um, I, I wouldn't mind having some back and forth with you about um, the ethics and morality of vegan. Okay. Um, I just don't find any uh, moral reason to switch to vegan. Okay. Well, do you oppose holocausting humans for hamburgers? Like if we were to just replace the animals in the factory farms with humans? Uh, only if it negatively affected my life. If it negatively affected your life? Well, I guess it depends how vague you want to be about it negatively affecting your life. Like, uh, let's say it doesn't hurt you at all. Uh, you mean like physically? Yeah, like is the idea that... So I heard you saying something like this earlier. Is it is the idea like if there's a holocaust, you might be a victim of the holocaust and you don't want to run that risk, so you'd rather do it to another species? Is that like the kind of thinking? Well, that would be one. Um, when the hypothetical was brought up before, I also said that uh, if, for example, um, some other country that was against the human holocaust didn't want to do trading with my country anymore and it would affect my quality of life or something, Right. Well, I'm just trying to see if if the fear is... All, well, when you say that you're comfortable with um, a human holocaust as long as it doesn't pose a... Like, what, what was the wording you used? As long as it doesn't what you? 
Uh, as long as it doesn't negatively affect my life. Yeah, because you understand that's very vague, right? Like, someone could be saying ne it'll just even negatively affect them, like, psychologically or something like that. And then that'll open a whole different can of worms. But I'm assuming what you're saying is just that it could negatively affect you, like, physically. Like, maybe some country won't trade with you, or maybe you'll be a victim, something like that. Correct. Okay, so just say that none of those things are going to happen. You're, you're just given the knowledge in this hypothetical that you won't be a victim of the Holocaust, you won't be personally, you know, like, targeted and put in a concentration camp and made into a burger. It's not going to happen to you. And just like when it was brought up before, are other humans that I'm living amongst, are, do they <laughs> care about this? Or? What do you mean, do they care about it? Like, why, are why, they, is, that, why is, is that somehow are, relevant to it hurting you? Uh, yeah, it would negatively affect me if everyone else was trying to do that, was trying to stop it. How would that negatively affect you? Because then I would have some obligation, societal obligation to help. Wait, no, 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 but how would it negatively affect you, though? That's a negative, because What's it would negative? take away from time, well, it would take away from time that I wanted to be spending doing other things. A societal obligation to help, what do you mean? Like, what, what kind of societal obligation? Well, let's say that this uh, group of humans that was harvesting other humans, right? If they, uh, if they went to war with the rest of humanity, I would have a sense of obligation to go help. Wait, what? Okay, this is, this is a very, like, it's not clear what you're saying, because you're saying that you would have no problem with a human holocaust except in the condition that it affects you negatively but then it affecting you negatively is so vague that i don't know what you're talking about like i understand if you say someone holocausting you affects you negatively um i understand right. if you say some country not wanting to trade with you affects you negatively but now you're talking about some weird like moral obligation thing like i don't i don't no, know no. i don't understand anymore it's not a moral obligation it's like if everyone in my community was going against this human <clears throat> holocaust, I would feel a societal obligation to join in as well, or else I would be seen as like an outcast or something like that. Oh, you mean like, like there'd be like negative social repercussions, like people might not like you? Correct. Oh yeah, say that people just didn't care. Right, that, that's why I said before, like if the other humans around me didn't care about the human holocaust, then I wouldn't do anything. Okay, so your position is that if there's a human holocaust happening, then, and again, we're just saying, we're going to say, like, we have a human, well, let's just start with a human holocaust that's exactly like the animal holocaust, right? So let's just say that yeah. we dial in those same conditions. Like, people care to the degree that they care about animals right now. There's, like, some percentage of the population that's like, hey, you know, like, people have basic rights and... You know, it's not, there's something wrong about, like, systematically murdering trillions of them. Like, it's just the same level of care as there is <clears throat> for animals in our society. And um, right, right. what are the other things? Like, the chances of a country going to war with you, that's just like, or, or not trading with you, that's like the same as it is over animal products, right? Whatever the risk is, it's the same. So just say that all of those things are equivalent. Now, right. do you have a problem with that human holocaust? Uh sorry um i don't have i don't get pleasure from I didn't, knowing about I didn't ask that if you get pleasure. but it also i just i just asked yeah, yeah, if yeah. you have a problem with it well problem insinuates a lot of things because problem would mean doesn't make I, me feel I good just, i just mean do you well look whether whether a problem is just constituted by it making you not feel good is going to depend on what your meta ethics are right maybe all a moral problem is is something that makes you not feel good what I, whatever well, I'm I'm, whatever I whatever exactly I mean by problem is what you mean by problem when you say there's a problem in the case where someone finds out and it makes you you know um, feel shitty. But it doesn't have to be because it makes you feel shitty. It's just however you cash out there being a moral problem in other situations. It would be a minute uh, a minute emotional problem. Right, but would it would it be? sufficient that you wouldn't support this holocaust of humans uh i personally wouldn't uh advocate for 
I didn't, but okay, so let's just try to be precise. I don't think you're doing this on purpose, but like when I ask like, would you support it? And you respond by saying I wouldn't advocate for it. That's just like some other thing that I'm not talking about. Like I'm asking, would you support it in the same way you support the animal holocaust, right? Like buying the products, funding the murder. Would you say that not doing anything is indirectly supporting um, would I say that not doing anything? Wait, no, I don't. Sorry, like, one, one second. Let, wait, say... wait, wait. No, no, no. I just I can't detect if that's a tangent or if that's somehow relevant. But I just want to make sure that what I'm asking is getting answered. So okay. what I'm asking is we have a human holocaust, right? And we just those factors that you said would make it a problem for you. Like before, apparently we had an understanding of what it meant for something to be a problem, right? Now it's like we're drawing into question what it means for something to be a problem. We're just going to be talking about whatever it means in other contexts when you say that there's a problem, a moral problem with something, however you cash that out. Maybe it's that you don't like it. If you're a moral realist, it can be that it, which you said you're nihilist, so I guess you're not this, but it could be that it violates some kind of like moral law or something like that. So what I'm asking you was if we have that Holocaust of humans, is it is it morally problematic for you? And your answer to that is that it's um, somewhat problematic. So then I have to make my question more precise. I'm asking if it's sufficiently problematic for you that whatever exactly we mean by problematic, we can discuss that if that's for some reason really important to you, but it seems like we're using the word in other contexts without any problem. Um, I'm asking if it would be sufficiently um, problematic that you wouldn't support it. Um, and by support, I just mean the way you support the animal holocaust, like buying the products. So if you ask me, does supporting include um, just not doing anything? I think I just want to make my question more precise again and just get rid of the word support and just ask, would you buy those products? Uh, no, because I think eating humans would be disgusting. Okay, so you wouldn't you wouldn't support, right? That's that's surely I can use the word support. We know what we're referring to. We're talking about buying the products, funding the Holocaust. Right. Um, right, right. So you wouldn't support a human Holocaust. You would support an animal Holocaust. And what is it um, that's true of the animal Holocaust that, if true of the human Holocaust, would cause you to not support it? Let me think about that. Okay. to give you like template answers these are all like problematic for obvious reasons but maybe you can think of something better you can say um it could be the case that the beings who are being holocausted are not human you could say it could be the case that the beings being holocausted are not over a certain level of intelligence we're looking for answers kind of like that um well you can still take longer my immediate reaction yeah yeah, no, no, my uh, immediate reaction would say that the only reason I would support the animal holocaust over the human one is that I get pleasure from eating animals and not from eating. You get pleasure. Okay, so say that it were the case. And by, by pleasure, it's hard because sometimes if you're talking to an anti-realist, uh, it's like by pleasure, are they just talking about like, are they just talking about some kind of like brain state or, or are they talking about the, the very thing that that is equivalent to saying that something is moral or not moral um right because you could be giving me a vacuous answer you could be saying something that's just like well the difference would be whether i approve of it like whether my mental state aligns with it or something those would all be vacuous answers on certain you know like types of anti-realism because it's just going to be that's that's just equivalent to saying that um you have a problem with it um so if uh here let me think of let me think of uh, how to put what I'm thinking into nice, um, simple terms. So you say the distinction is whether you get pleasure from it. So let's just say that you get the same degree of pleasure from killing a human. You know, like it just gives you um, a positive, like, sensory experience or something like this. Um, like, I assume that's what you're referring to by pleasure. Are you using, let's yeah, just be clear, are you pleasure. using pleasure as some, like, word that's basically equivalent to um, how do I how do I phrase this? Is is saying X gives me pleasure equivalent to saying like um, X is something that I morally approve of 
Is that is that just the same thing in your head? No, definitely not. It's purely okay. uh, physical pleasure. Yeah, th there can be some things that hypothetically give you pleasure that you don't approve of morally. Uh, well, I don't believe in morals, so... Um, can there be things that give you pleasure that you don't approve of? Uh, approve of uh, in terms of preference? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's, okay. like... No, 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 that, that, that... That, that, that's, that's fine. Just the reason that I ask, I don't know if you'll, like, appreciate this, but it's just sometimes you ask what is it that differentiates these two situations, the human and the animal holocaust, and then someone will respond with, well, the fact that it gives me pleasure. And based on the meta-ethic that the person has, that may or may not be a vacuous statement. Like, if it giving them pleasure is just equivalent to saying it's something they support or it's something they prefer or something like that, right? then um then it's just going to be vacuous they're basically just saying like oh um you know the 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 thing that distinguishes whether um one situation is morally acceptable or not is whether it's morally acceptable or not but it doesn't sound like you're doing that it sounds like pleasure it can be that something gives you pleasure and is not your preference or you know that which you morally approve of however exactly you want to you know use the phrasing there so then i can right. then in that case if it's not a vacuous answer yeah i would give the reductio and i just say say that biting into the human meat just gives you the same degree of pleasure you get from, you know, biting into the animal meat. In that situation, would you then support the human holocaust? Yes. Okay. Now, if you have a position like that, I'm not going to tell you that you're being inconsistent if you're not being a vegan. But if you truly believe that, let's just be like totally clear. You're saying that we, you know, we reopen, you know, Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen and, you know, the Nazi concentration camps, fill them with humans, murder them, process them into food, and then you eat it. And, you know, it gives you the equivalent sensory pleasure of a hamburger. In that situation, you would support uh, that Holocaust. You would, yeah, support is the right word. You'd support that financially. If I enjoyed, if I got pleasure from eating them? I already specified that. You get the same degree of pleasure you get from biting into a hamburger. Yeah, I would have to. What do you mean? What's it mean to say I would have to? I'm just asking if you would. If I got, if I got physical pleasure from eating humans, then yeah, a holocaust of humans would be a delight for me. But <laughs> okay, so, that's, that's, so but, but, but like, but, that, but the hypothetical doesn't. But like, I don't, I don't actually get like enjoy eating humans. So therefore, I so wouldn't therefore actually. I would surely, you understand how you just gave a vacuous answer there. Why do you think it's vacuous? Obvious. Obvious. Like, um, what he just said is, if I get, if I got pleasure from eating humans, then it surely it would be enjoyable for me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. like what, what? What kind of answer is that? Yeah, but if you got pleasure from eating humans, you would support the Holocaust of humans. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm I'm just cautious here because I think that what you're trying to do is you're trying to say. Oh, you know, by definition, if it gave me the same degree of pleasure as the animal thing, I would have to say, you know, at, the, at that point, you're just you're just making equivalent the factors that would make me support it. I just want to make sure that you understand that it is possible for one to say, even if biting into a human hamburger gave me as much pleasure as biting into a chicken burger, I still wouldn't do it because I see something else problematic about that. You understand that you could give an answer like that, right? You don't have to say it would have to be the case that I would eat it. Yeah, I know, but... Because um, you're not taking a view where pleasure is, like, the sole determinant of what you do, right? No, well, I mean, it gets a little tricky with that. But unless unless your answer to that is a straightforward yes, what I said is going to apply, though. Um, so, it's... like, you understand, Sorry, just to... Well, just let's be clear. It's possible for something to give you pleasure and for you to not do that thing, not approve of that thing, you know, whatever. Right, 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 absolutely. So yeah, you, I mean, under, you, understand, hypothetical... you understand you could, you could give an answer and say, even if I got the same amount of pleasure from eating the uh, animal, the human burger as the animal burger, I still wouldn't do it, right? Because we're not taking pleasure to be this all-encompassing term that's just equivalent basically to preference or something like this we're we're taking pleasure to be like a subset of you know it's it's like something that presumably contributes most or all of the time to whether something is your prefer preference 
So well, there's nothing wait, that just, I just just one that I find, one, okay, one second. Okay. Come on. So when we talk about eating the human burgers, you understand that you could, if you want, respond to that by saying, even if it gave me the same amount of pleasure, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't support it because there's some kind of other concern, right? But there is no other concern. No other concern than pleasure. Well, in that situation, yeah, there wouldn't be, because uh, in the hypothetical, uh, we just swapped out the current animal situation with humans, and we uh, said that all the other humans are okay with it. So, if or sorry, not all of them, but most of them, if most of the other humans are okay with other like me eating the human, then why would I not eat it if I got pleasure from? Wait, no, no, no. I think I think you might be misunderstanding me. You still understand that it is possible to say something gives me the same amount of pleasure that I get from eating a hamburger, and I wouldn't do that thing, right? Yeah, I know, but I, I okay. No, 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 I'm, no I'm, 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 I'm just make, I'm just making sure because what someone could be trying to do is to give a Weasley answer where they're actually saying, "I'm just determined to eat that human in some sense because you've you've equalized the pleasure feature." So I'm just saying, on your view, pleasure isn't the only factor that determines whether something's ethical. There's other you know constraints that have to be dialed in correctly. And it's possible, obviously, to give an answer that even though something gives you equivalent pleasure to eating the hamburger, you still wouldn't do it. And now I just want to know that you're aware that pathway is open to you, not that because earlier you made it sound like there's like a determined answer where you have to say yes or something like this. So you know that you know that you could answer by saying it's not okay to eat the humans, but no, you you don't. It's actually you're taking you take the view apparently that if there were a holocaust of humans, and you got equivalent pleasure from eating a human burger as an animal burger, here we're just, again, talking like sensory pleasure, right? Um, that uh, you would actually financially support that holocaust of humans. Correct. And again, this is under also the fact that in this hypothetical, most other humans are okay with this human holocaust. That's yeah, most people aren't going to say that it's okay to holocaust other humans if the rest of the people are okay with it. So I don't think that when you say something like that, you're doing much to like suggest to the audience that, no, no. well, just, just a second, because oftentimes what people try to do is deflate the reductio, right? Which is to say, say something about the reductio so as to make it seem less potent, like, oh, well, everyone agrees, right? So I'm, I'm just making it clear to you, most people... They don't think it fucking matters if everyone agrees uh, or not with a Holocaust. They just think Holocaust bad. So you saying that doesn't really do anything if this is what you're trying to do. I'm not saying it's what it is, what you are trying to do. But if, if your goal in saying that is to try to deflate the reductio, it's not going to have a deflationary effect on anyone except some fringe minority of people who actually would be comfortable supporting a Holocaust if other people support it. Most people don't have views like that. So, I think you're really underestimating the power of common consciousness amongst people. I think if you ask, no, 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 if you want, this is, again, that's slipping into determined, like, causal kind of language when, when you do that stuff there, which uh, obviously we can talk about in some sense, everything is determined and causal or whatever. But the, um, the point, the point, though, is that um, when you, when you shift over to that language and say people would just end up supporting a holocaust if everyone else did right that's not something that i really disagree with i think that you know there's people who will object and see through things but yeah people are highly suggestible but that was not really what i was talking about right i wasn't saying what kind of deterministically like would happen if an actual holocaust were taking place and a large portion of the population approved of it i'm talking about if you ask the average person about their morality, how do they actually evaluate that situation where you say everyone else supports a Holocaust? They say, oh, it's still wrong, right? There's a distinction between what would actually happen in reality if the Holocaust were taking place, uh, what would actually happen, would people, you know, support it because of kind of like peer pressure and social norms and stuff like this versus what do people right now in the actual world, how do they morally evaluate that situation? You understand there's a distinction there, right? For sure. But I, I do right. think that, um, like, this is why the hypothetical is a little strange, because I, I don't think that most people care about the animal holocaust because the fact that they're animals. Whereas in this hypothetical where you're like, we just swap out humans for animals, I have to, for the hypothetical sake, 
assume that humans don't care about the human holocaust just the same way they don't care about the animal holocaust but in reality obviously humans would care about humans being holocausted yeah i just don't even see how that's really that relevant like the point that i'm making is just so first of all i just want to make sure you understand the last thing when we give the reductio and you say you'd support the holocaust when you say you know everyone kind of would or something like this um that's not actually doing anything to deflate the strength of the reductio right because no most, i know i know yeah because most people just think that's fucked no matter how many people are doing it and then replying to that by saying just some kind of deterministic thing like well they just actually would support it if they're in that situation that's just orthogonal to whether right now those people would um evaluate that to be a morally positive situation you know if most people are supporting it so look this is all i really have to say um you can have the last word but basically with someone like you uh, i don't know if you're uh if you're being honest or not you know it's possible you're lying to be consistent it's also possible you're like a sociopath or something like this um those things are all like you know plausible but um I'm not going to tell someone like you that they're inconsistent because you're actually sitting here saying, yeah, like fucking reopen Bergen-Belsen if that's going to, uh, you know, if that's going to produce tasty hamburgers and people don't give a shit. Um, I would just say that, you know, most people would be appalled by your um, morality. And, you know, I think that in time we're uh, we're going to be able to persuade the public and there's no way that people like you will be able to uh, make any headway. So, yeah, you can have your crazy, consistent view, but um, most people, if I did what I just did with your view, would reject it. I, sorry, man, I can't help but think that <clears throat> you're being a bit dishonest with that because it's not that I would support a human holocaust to eat them in this present situation because, like I, I said... I didn't say that. Human... Wait, no, 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 one second. Sorry? You don't, you, you, wait, you don't get to r randomly, like, misattribute things to me. We were very clear about when you'd support it, Right. You have a human holocaust where you are not harmed by that holocaust which is just to say no, and also sorry and also if all, if most other humans are okay with it that's that was also that's, part of the hypothetical. that's that's encompassed in you not being harmed by it remember that was something you described as a subtype of harm right, the right first so type it's just the, assume that the everybody the is the okay with first, humans being killed the first one second the first type was like the physical harm subtype right and then the other type was um well i guess maybe you could say it's still physical harm so maybe that's not the perfect way to separate it but the point is the first was like you get killed in the holocaust the next was you know people shun you or something like this all right so we understand when we say there's a human holocaust and you're not harmed by it to any greater degree than you're harmed by the animal holocaust that you would support said holocaust right right and so with so, most people so when you say wait, wait, most no, people no, 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 that no, what one, i'm saying is one, crazy one second that's the equivocation once okay so now okay now we're getting into the weasel territory i love this okay so <laughs> okay can i just can i just say one no thing no 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 you, you just put, no no, no you just put you just, just put you just put I multiple just things really... on the table and i'll forget them if i don't get a deal with them right i'm already okay, forgetting I'm just, so I, let I, me I just try to remember what you said let me try it please i want to address those points okay so the first point is that i didn't dishonestly i didn't do anything dishonest i just referred to the exact situation that you said you'd support i think everyone will agree with that right you support a human holocaust as long as it doesn't harm you to any greater degree than the animal holocaust right so would you would you retract the claim that i'm trying to mischaracterize your view i'd appreciate that firstly and then i have another point uh, okay can i can i ask one thing about that because that that'll affect my, my yeah. answer okay um i would support the human holocaust if everyone else did as well because that was part <laughs> of my that's encompassed in you not being harmed by it okay okay so then it's part according of to your okay. definition right right okay right so because you say just to be right, clear you... i'm okay with it as long as everyone else is okay with it too yeah, but it's it's really weird. It's I can't tell if it's just that you're like not tracking or if you're trying to paint it like I'm trying to leave out some vital detail that once I specify, everyone's going to be like, oh, yeah, his position makes sense, right? I say you support a human holocaust as long as it doesn't harm you. We understand that your concept of harm includes a situation where everyone is... Um, uh, not in support of the holocaust or some large percentage of the uh, population are so it's just like by definition if we say it doesn't harm you 
It's not the case that a large portion of the population objects to the Holocaust in question. So there's no dishonesty, right? Do you understand that? Well, the only reason I, I bring it up is because right before you said, I'll give you the last word, you said most people would think that what I'm saying is crazy. Well, and the only reason that it would be crazy is because they would omit that specific thing that I'm pointing out, which is that it's this hypothetical where people don't have a problem with other people being killed. Well, wait a second. So that's going to get to the second problem, which is you attempting to um, equivocate. Let's see how to how what's a good label for these things, because the two things you're trying to equip. In fact, wait, we'll go to the equivocation in a second. First, I just want you to retract that claim that I'm doing anything dishonest. I've been perfectly clear about your view. OK, well, I mean, look, to do be you fair, retract I did it or say, not? Well, to be fair, I look, did just say, answer. I, I don't do want to say just, this to just, you. Just 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 answer clearly. Do you retract that yeah, or I not? Just, yeah, I, I'm gonna assume that you're being honest, and that okay. that was just that's fine. That that was just. A... I don't. I don't think there was any misstep. I mean, I don't even think I, I. And I have no problem admitting when I spoke wrong, but I think that I just said what your view was, as far as I can remember. But whatever. Either way, I know, let's but just, I let's interpret just... it that way. I don't oh, think okay. you're okay, being a bad fine. person or anything. Okay. All right. Well, I don't. I just don't like being told that I'm trying to mischaracterize when I'm like fully willing to state exactly what someone's view says. Um, okay. okay and, and then the second point is the equivocation, right? So. The equivocation is between um, what people would do if that situation actually arose versus what their moral, um, or I guess if I'm talking to you, I can just say what their preferences are at present, right? So when I say most people would be appalled by your morality and would not agree with it, and you say, no, they wouldn't, they'd support the Holocaust also, you're equivocating, right? Because I'm talking about whether they would support it right now, sitting here, what their idea is of that Holocaust. Do they morally approve it? You're equivocating that with whether if those conditions were met, they would be kind of like determined to um, uh, support it. So do you understand that's an equivocation? I do, but so are okay. you saying that you think that most people like right now would be against the animal Holocaust? Yes, but oh wait, the animal holocaust. No, I think people are uninformed. I think that people haven't thought it through clearly and there's not enough public consciousness about it. I, I my oh. in, my intuition, which I mean, maybe I can say it's a bit more than intuition. I could probably start saying it's an induction at this point after all the conversations I've had. Um I think that I think that it's very likely that as consciousness spreads, we'll get um, you know, like I think I think that when you show a bunch of people this, the majority of them don't approve of it. But, you know, I'm not going to go out on a limb to defend, like, how the public, you know, reacts to different things without numbers, right? I'm just going to make the very basic claims that I know are true, which is just, if you ask most people, hey, is a Holocaust morally acceptable if everyone else is doing it? <laughs> They're just going to say no, right? Most people will say no to that. And telling me that, again, I'm not, try not trying to be harsh with you. I, I don't think you're being, by saying this dishonest, I just want to point out it's an equivocation, by saying, well, if that Holocaust arose, they would be supporting it, right? That's that's just equivocating between what their current moral evaluation is and what their like projected evaluation would be in that situation, right? You appreciate that's an equivocation? It, it's hard for me to just go fully on board because I don't think most people on principle are against just the Holocaust, like just on principle. Like I think Wait, most where, people would ask I... what, what is being Holocausted? Wait one second. I, I don't I don't understand why you're trying to saddle me with the claim that people, in principle, generally oppose all Holocausts. Right. Like first of all, I think that most people with a like <laughs> stable normative theory aren't going to say the core of their normative theory is like Holocaust like avoidance. It's going to be probably that that derives from other principles they care about. So I just don't know why you're even trying to apply that to me. I'm just asking if you understand that it's an equivocation. The reason I'm bringing it up is because you did say that if you ask most people, and you said this, you know this intuitively, that they would be against I, I the also, Holocaust. I also know this inductively. I've, I've had a lot of conversations about a lot of Holocausts. Yeah. Right, do right. you wait? So, I'm 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 sorry. Just to be clear, do you doubt sure. that? Do you doubt that if you go and ask, you know, a hundred people? whether they think it would be just fine to support a Holocaust if everyone else was doing it. You think that most people would say yes to that? Is that your view? Or you don't think it's completely obvious that virtually everyone would say no to that? It depends on who is in the Holocaust or what is in the Holocaust. Yeah, right now we're talking about a human Holocaust. 
Yeah, absolutely. Even I, like everyone would be against the human Holocaust. Okay. All right. I just want to, I just want to make sure you understand that. Right. So when you, when you say that, um, they would, if that Holocaust were occurring, they would be kind of like determined to support it or something like this, right? It would just be that like the, the state of affairs is such that it causes them to, um, you know, uh, support the Holocaust. That's, that's not the same thing as what their current moral evaluation of such a situation is, right? So you understand that if I say most people would be against that right now, right? If I say most people don't, wouldn't support a fucking Holocaust, Right. What I'm saying, what I'm talking about is their current moral evaluation. If you reply by saying, oh, yes, they would. But then you change the context and you start saying, talking about what their like projected values would be in a situation where a Holocaust is occurring. You understand that's an equivocation, right? Uh, sure. Equivocation doesn't uh, imply ill will. It just it's just it just means we're talking past each other. Right. Well, it, it, th that's not literally its definition, but that's all I'm I'm. That's that's the only implication here is we're talking past each other, right? When you right, when I'm right, saying right. you're equivo equivocating, I'm not saying you're being like dishonest. I'm just saying no, I know, you're talking I know. about something else than me, right there. I'm not uh, talking about what most people would think in that actual situation. I'm talking about their current evaluation. So just to be totally clear, it is understood that that's an equivocation. Can okay. I ask a question? Um, why? Hold, why hold who? Who? When I'm trying so hard to get clarity about something, who responds by butting in to say, "Can I ask a question?" So, do we understand that? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of teasing, but look, do we understand that's an equivocation or not? It's just I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding why it is. Is it okay if I oh. uh, say something and then you tell me if if you're if you're yeah. tired of this, it's cool. No, we, it's, we can call it's, it. We it's, can call it's, it. It's fine. Go go ahead. Um, the hypothetical was if the only things that changed were we swap out the animals for the humans, right? Mm -hmm. Would I be okay? Because right now I'm a meat eater. Would I be okay with still eating humans, right? Yeah, would you support it? Right. And I said I would, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So where where did you go from there? Well, I mean, all I said from... So when you said that you'd support it, I said, okay, that's a consistent position. I'm not going to tell you that you're inconsistent for supporting the animal holocaust. I'm just going to say that you have values that are radically at odds with most people, right? Most people don't okay. think, oh, it would be fine to holocaust everyone uh, if, um, if other people approved of it. I said something roughly like that. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay, so you're saying that you don't think most people would be okay with uh, holocausting humans even though other humans think it's okay yeah but are you equivocating right now no it was just um yeah i'm saying most okay, people so... right now if asked about a situation where others approve of holocausting humans and whether they think it would be ethical to support the holocaust in such a situation would say no right 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 yeah, yeah. No, no i totally agree with that yeah yeah, yeah. okay i agree with that but this is the, this is why I was kind of maybe I, I didn't say this clearly, but um, I think that if they thought of the humans the same way they think of the animals, they would be okay with it. <laughs> but that that's just completely trivial, though, right? <laughs> that's just that's just saying if all of the mental processes were the exact same, then all of the, let's uh, then then <laughs> they would they would have the same attitude towards the Holocaust, and when it's like, well, duh, their attitude right. towards the Holocaust is just one of the mental processes. So that's not that's not like an right, interesting right. answer. But, well, I guess well but it's it just that, that that's why I was asking about the hypothetical because you said that the only thing that is changing yeah, about that, the hypothetical that's why, that's why is I was, you're swapping humans that's for why, for animals. So is, therefore, the mental processes would be the, the same. Wait, no, so, no, no. So when you say that humans would, would not be okay with other humans being holocausted, they would because they still have the same you're, mental you're, process you're, of equating the animals to humans. Uh, Avi, do you want to take a shot at explaining the equivocation? Because he keeps doing it every time I try to make this point. I try to make this point. I'll, I'll try to give you a <clears throat> hypothetical that'll put this into a little bit of perspective for you, hopefully. Sure, sure. So it seems like when you when he explains to you that the Holocaust would be reopened and everyone would be okay with it, you say, okay, well, but I think most people would be okay with it. If everyone would be okay with it, you're talking about this 
collective consciousness. You're talking about peer pressure and everything like that. Is that is that like what you're getting at? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because okay, I yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Processes are the same. Yeah. So that's not what he's talking about. Okay. So okay. Yeah, and when he says the mental, and when you say the mental process would be the same, so it's not what he's talking about. So he's saying what what your mental process is right now. Here's the hypothetical I want to give to you. So let's say you're in a room, okay, and there's a switch, and you can flip the switch. And if you flip the switch, the following will happen. What will happen magically is Auschwitz will be reopened. A bunch of Jews are going to be holocausted in a concentration camp. It's going to produce meat for you. And magically, everyone's mind will change so that they're okay with it. Right now, no one's okay with it. But if you flip the switch, everyone's mind except for yours right now, even if it will change in the future, will be okay with it. So the question is, with your mental state right now, with your preferences right now, your values, whatever they are right now, would you flip the switch? No, I wouldn't. Okay, so now it seems like when you're actually answering Isaac's question, you're giving a different answer. Could you uh, elaborate a bit? When you're answering Isaac's question, you are giving a different answer. Because Isaac's question is getting at what your values are right now. What your values are right now, would you say that it would be acceptable to you to reopen a Holocaust if it would provide you, if it would not harm you, if it would provide you pleasure and everyone else would be okay with it? You, by saying you would not flip the switch, even though all those things are entailed by you flipping the switch, it seems like your answer to that is no. Well, it's no because I don't, uh, it doesn't feel. And that I would be responsible for. Yeah, so the answer, the answer is no. It's not yes. To Isaac's or yours? To Isaac's question. If you, to the question that Isaac is getting at, your answer is actually not yet. Your well, to be clear, no. I want to make sure that, because I, just because of your phrasing, I'm, I'm not sure if, if we're talking about the exact same thing, Avi. The equivocation I'm talking about is when he says something like most people would, um, would support it, right? Is he saying that if, if the um, conditions... Or, or, or when he says, like, how do, I, how do I put this? If he, if he says, look, Bob over there would also support the Holocaust if everyone else did, right? Is he just saying, you know, Bob would be kind of determined to support it by virtue of peer pressure and these kind of things? Or is he saying that Bob right now, when talked to about that Holocaust, would morally evaluate it to be appropriate for him to support if everyone else were supporting it? Right. right. So, so that's the, what I'm the, trying so, to spell out. That's yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, okay. So, so then just, when just you're to be in the totally room, clear, I just want to make sure you and I are agreeing. So we're so, both talking about the yeah. equivocation between what people, what people's projected preferences would be when certain factors are dialed in, versus their evaluation right now of those situations. Of those situations. Right. That's okay. by that's what I mean by in the room flipping the switch because that deals with that hypothetical deals with a person with their evaluation right now. I, I just got yeah, tripped just, out because you switched from talking about other people to talking about him. So I wasn't sure so I wasn't because... Sure. Oh, okay, sure, sure, yeah. If everyone else was in the room flipping the switch, they would they would not flip the switch either. That's, that's yeah. But even if they, their projected, their projected value system would change if the switch was flipped, they right now would not flip the switch. So the question, it's, now it sounds like you're not, it sounds like your question, your answer to Isaac's question is actually no. Well, it's just well, that, it's just that. Uh, Isaac, uh, sorry, excuse me, in uh, Isaac's uh, hypothetical, it was that I'm still getting pleasure from eating humans the way I would from eating meat. Uh, as it was in my hypothetical. Well, no, your hypothetical yeah. and, was and, I'm and, not eating anything, and, right? And Avi, keep, keep no, in mind, no, in, in mind. case in case you didn't hear it, 
I, I'm very careful when someone says like, "Oh, it would give me pleasure or something like this." I'm very careful to make sure they're not. Oh, the same they're... degree of pleasure. Let's yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Do all, let's yeah, assume we're not well, being dealing with someone. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we don't because what we what we what we don't want is for someone to be saying yeah, the equivalent of, "Oh, it would be a thing the, that I would yeah. morally approve of," right? We we yeah, want so that's why I spend all that time <laughs> making sure he's he's aware that it's possible to say. Someone I really would give hope me... that I okay. wouldn't, and I really hope that I wouldn't have to do all this like tying preemptively tying off all the weasel pathways now that you did it but yeah we could do it again um so yeah in this hypothetical where we're in the room and we're flipping a switch um to the same degree that you get pleasure from whatever animal products you're getting that same difference is going to apply to you for the jewish victims of the holocaust they're Ju the jewish hamburgers um and everyone and to whatever degree that it is harmful for you that the animal holocaust is harmful for you the human holocaust uh, the, the jewish holocaust will be harmful for you we equalize all of those things out all other factors are subsumed under them. Would you flip this? Okay, so just to, just to be clear, because I do want to answer your question, you're saying if I flip the switch, I will get a physical pleasure from it. Whatever degree, you, if you get a physical pleasure from the animal holocaust, you will get a physical pleasure from the Jewish holocaust. To the same degree. Okay. Then yes, I would flip the switch. The switch. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so that is out of line with what other people would do. Other people would not flip the switch. Almost, I would be right, very comfortable saying now, that right. everyone else. But now, Avi, what he's going to try to do is give you a vacuous answer. And he's going to try to say, well, but if I got the exact same degree of pleasure, I would be determined to. Because you're basically saying I have the same brain states. But we already tied off that pathway off that earlier. Now. That's just by, something you know by, about in the future. It's not well, something... well, we tied off the pathway by saying, obviously the pleasure isn't the sole determinant of what you would support right. or not, right? It's possible for something to give you equivalent pleasure and you not support it. So he, the move isn't open to him to say like, oh, you know, if my pleasure is equalized, I would necessarily support it. It's just vacuous, right? He, he can't, right. He can't he, say yeah, that he can't when he said that. that that it's possible for pleasure to be equalized without him supporting it. He can't then weasel onto it like, oh, I'd be determined to and your question's vacuous. Right, right. No, no, no. He, I think he's. I don't think he's saying that. I think he's. I, I think he's actually saying. Oh, oh yeah. He, he hasn't said it to you I'm, yet. He, he did it oh, okay, with me earlier. See, I don't see. know if you right. realize. So yeah, let's see. see let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, sorry. Uh, can I can I ask you guys a question though? But why does it matter whether other people would not do this or do it? Wait, wait, wait. Before we before we get there, can you sure. just answer that sure. question? So well, I said I'd flip the when switch. When you right? say flip the switch, right? Yeah, yeah. But are you saying you flip the switch because? Based on what my question is, you have this predeter you have there's like this determined thing that you would flip the switch because like if there's pleasure, then you're determined to do whatever there is pleasure for, or whatever you think there is pleasure for, or are you saying that well all the factors considered, even though it is it's possible for me to not always approve of things that will give me pleasure, even considering that I will flip the switch. I'm saying that I would flip the switch because it is pleasurable and it is not a risk for me to indulge in my in that pleasure okay and just to be clear just because there is something that gives you pleasure and it may not be a risk to engage in that pleasure that's not something that necessarily entails you approving of it are there or, or does or is it are there things that are there things that give you pleasure that may be um but that may carry no risk that you would still not approve of doing no. Oh, okay. So now it seems like you are. You are. So if, if there was a case where, like, you could rape a, a child and you knew that you would get away with it for sure and you knew that it would give you pleasure, um, you would, it would not be possible for you to not approve of that action. Um, if I was still a moral nihilist in that situation, then, yeah, I would yeah, do it. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not asking if you are. I'm saying, like, what are you? I'm saying, right, whatever you are right now. Right. Yeah, if, if, if yeah. right now, how I am right now, and I had and I genuinely had desires to rape kids, rape and I could get away just, with just it, it, and I would probably, do, I would it. probably do it. Yeah, okay, or not not probably. Like you would, would you be entailed to approve of it? In other words, would it be any? Would it be possible for you to not approve of it on your view, on whatever view you have? No, I would do it. That way, that okay. one wait. second is he contradicting himself? He's exactly. earlier like now. If he says he would be determined to if the uh, to do the given thing if the pleasure were equalized and the risk were equalized or whatever that that's one thing but now if he's saying it's not possible for someone to not do it in that situation well then that's contradicting what you said earlier because i made very i was very careful to make sure 
that you weren't just trying to do a uh, like my behavior is determined like kind of weasel pathway type thing right because you you earlier said that it's possible it's it's completely logically possible to well i guess we don't just want to say logically but the, the point is earlier you said that you could theoretically give the answer that um even though you get equivalent pleasure to eating the animal burger um you would still not do the action so it's not like that's an answer that creates some kind of yeah i think we, it is logical that's not an answer that creates a logical incoherence right given your definitions of terms etc oh sorry was that to me yeah is it um, logically incoherent to say this person would get the same degree of pleasure from action a and b and would have the same risk in situation a and b but would nonetheless do the action in situation A and not in situation B. Is that logically possible in your view? Uh, yeah, it would be. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Okay. So, it's so, not, so it's he not is he is, he is he is not trying to just do. Okay, so in that case, he's not just trying to go. Oh, um, you know, by if if anyone has that degree of pleasure, they're just like determined to act or something like this. He's just saying no. Like for me that degree of pleasure and no risk is just sufficient that i would actually support holocausting humans so there's no there's no there's no, there's no um um weasel door here of uh trying to um well here i, I guess just the easiest way to say is like you've named you've named basically um in fact what would we even say that the trait is that he's naming here it's just the um the lack of harm uh, this is all entailed under his lack of harm lack trait, of right? Harm trait, Any right. pleasure, uh, so, pleasure to harm ratio so, for oneself, right? So for yourself. Right. So, his, so his, yeah, his his view is that if there were a holocaust of humans, which had the same harm effect on him as the animal holocaust, he would support that holocaust. Right. And that right. is now, that is that radically is, that is, at odds with virtually everyone's morality. Everyone's was morality. just my follow up right. point there. Yeah. And I just told him if he wants to be consistent and have. You know some crazy position on the you know, periphery of society he can do that but you know people just anytime that i show that that's what his view entails uh everyone listening or virtually fucking everyone is just gonna go well that's insane i can't agree with that so that was all i really said in response once he bit the bullet on that reductio. right that reductio. and and it, the move to say well uh, you're underestimating collective consciousness or something like that, that that's clearly an equivocation that's yes important. We, yeah, because we, that, we're all clear on yeah, that. that that's equivocating between people's projected preferences in preferences that situation and their situation. current evaluation yeah all right guys well thanks for the talk i appreciate you guys uh having me on and could talking you? no problem could uh, could thanks, you make guys. a case oh, wait, sorry like... sorry before you go dude can i just have can i just ask you guys one question before i go because i do have to go um um do you guys do uh specifically isaac and sorry i don't know the other guy's name um but do you guys think that you're going to convince more people to switch to non uh, to veganism through argumentation and logic, or do you guys think you should uh, maybe push the health side more? Because I really do think that most people won't be convinced by arguments. I think that's a great question for, it's a great empirical question that there is not a lot of data for. Right. Yeah, I take the same view. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Okay.